I want to start by thanking the residents, leaders, and businesses of Massachusetts for your hard work as we continue to fight COVID-19 and gradually reopen our economy. Throughout the pandemic, the people of our Commonwealth have stepped up to the occasion. They've displayed tremendous discipline and resiliency. By following the guidance and implementing the safety protocols, we have indeed bent the curve and made it possible to continue our phased and careful reopening. Today, we are pleased to announce that our progress with key public health metrics will allow us to move to phase three on Monday. In a moment, Secretary Keneally will discuss more specifics, but I first want to highlight two key sectors within phase three. On Monday, fitness centers and health clubs, including those offering weight training, cross training, yoga, and spin classes, will be allowed to reopen under sector-specific protocols, just like we've done for other industry sectors. Going to the gym may not look the same the way it did before the pandemic, but we hope that these new protocols will allow more residents to return to exercise and fitness and get back into those routines that they were accustomed to. Also on Monday, museums and cultural and historical facilities and guided tours, small guided tours, will be allowed to resume operations in our Commonwealth with limited capacity. Our state is fortunate to have such a rich history of wealth, of science, cultural, and artistic institutions, and we hope you will enjoy these activities, which were months, very much a part of our enjoyment and, and be able to do so safely in the months ahead. I know that the operators of these institutions have worked really hard uh, to think creatively, but very mindful of your safety and invite you back uh, to these institutions knowing they want to keep you safe and give you a positive experience once again. The full guidance and list of businesses that can reopen can be found, as many of you know, at mass.gov forward slash reopening. As we enter phase three and the weather only gets warmer and better, it's important that we continue to follow the guidance and do all the things that have allowed us to get to this point. It's why we titled this phase of our reopening plan Vigilant. We must remain vigilant in our fight against the virus as long as it's with us. Everyone has a role to play and everyone must do their part. We are so thankful for your hard work and the sacrifices you've made to fight back against this virus. And at the same time, we must continue to do our part, but you've also made it possible for more businesses uh, to reopen in our Commonwealth and get back to business and bring back their workers. I also want to thank uh, our local boards of health who've done an extraordinary job helping businesses comply and enforcing uh, the governor's uh, provisions so that this activity can take place safely in our Commonwealth. Please continue to do the things that you have done to make to have made this possible. Again, remain vigilant as we proceed to the next phase on Monday. Our success is largely in the hands of the people of our Commonwealth. We are grateful, we are thankful, and I join the governor in wishing you and your families an enjoyable and safe Fourth of July holiday weekend.